except for when we're outdoors at events. But today we're going to talk about a serious subject called sexting. Now most of you think about sexting and you're thinking about teens. Well, it doesn't only apply to teens. You're thinking, what? Because, yeah, you see it on the news and you see it being applied on teens. But sexting, otherwise known as, um, I think of sex and texting, right? Or basically using your cell phone to text about sex. Well, that sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Well, see, part of it is when you think of teenagers, we're usually thinking of, oh, one teen sending a picture to another or doing something explicit back and forth, right? And so some people think, oh, the teens aren't old enough, they don't know enough. Well, one of the things you may not know is that when you do, yes, sexting, actually it applies to text messages in general because this phone company does keep records. In fact, by a federal mandate, they do keep the records of what is sent back and forth for seven years. Yeah, seven years. So when you're sending it, not only is it sent from your phone, it's also on record as being received on the other side too. Mm. Now probably one of the most popular um, but popular things that came up in, um, well, not so recently. Okay, well, what happened is happens Wienergate. Probably, yeah, Wienergate, and she, where he accidentally sent something off to Facebook that was meant for a cell phone. And this was done between adults. Yeah. Right? Um, and actually, when it, he, they did send it to a cell phone, right? Yeah. And, okay. and as, as we understand that while the um, National Organization of Women will go protect the rights of teenage girls as far as when it comes to a girl and woman, they have the sort of attitude which is a woman deserves it, she brings it on herself, which is unbelievable. Well, because, and one of the things that spurred this is I was, um, texting with a business associate. This is somebody that I know, you know, just for business, right? And we'll send each other messages, like I do with other people, hey, are you going to this event, right? And it's like, oh yeah, I would love to see you, you know, right? You know, this is, this is just like typical business stuff. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking at my message and I'm looking at this going, what? It was an off-color remark. And a that, very graphic picture. Yeah, totally inappropriate for a professional. And what threw me off guard is this is somebody that is, has been a purely professional relationship. We talk at different things again, say hi, take pictures, you know what I mean? That type of thing. We are not, we are not associates that kiss each other, we don't date each other, we don't, you know, none, none of that. Yeah. And so it was really yeah. kind of a total surprise. And, you know, and the young lady is taken also, so she's yeah. not a bitchy not on the market. So, well, part of it was, it was not sending, it's not like you're sending messages back and forth. I mean, in, in a way, this is, um, it kind of reminded me of sexual harassment in the workplace. It is specifically that. It, uh, it is, as I understand, illegal to send material like that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. on the phones from one person to another, period. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not just a no-no. What about yeah. between your boyfriend and girlfriends? Oh, uh, I guess it's, it's the same reason. thing. It's why they're, it's a, they're, they call it criminal misconduct. Oh. That it's, uh, if the female did not request it and the male, or a male did not request it and it comes, basically it can be considered a violation of a lot of terms of conduct on your phones. Mm-hmm. 
and I know in the workplace, they, they give people classes on what to do about sexual harassment, how to report it, how to do this, how to do that. But part of it is I'm in the entertainment industry, and these are peers. Yeah. And so in, in the entertainment industry, it's like, Put, put it this way, most of them don't know they've done anything wrong. They think it's expected of them to do something like that. Really? Yeah. They know the guys they think it's expected to feed. What do you think all those naked pictures of women are doing on your cell phones? Oh, well, you they know, I think sometimes people are expecting their cell phones to be picked up, but, oh yeah, the cell phone was picked up. Yeah. I feel like you're really sending all those pictures back and forth. They mean it to be found, but they don't mm -hmm. think they're doing anything wrong until they get caught. That's the same thing as... Uh, Although I guess if you take pictures and it's on your cell phone, then... They know well, actually, if you didn't send it to anybody, no, it's just your personal it's, pictures. It's, if you have pictures of little kids... That's a, it's too. considered. It depends upon the pictures you have on your cell phones and what adults. You know, um, because if a, I do know that if the wrong person picks up a cell phone, they say a wrong person picks up a wallet, and in the wallet there's what he considers to be inappropriate pictures, then he can basically take them to the authorities, then the authorities start an investigation. It could be, it could be adults, folks. Well, and part of it is you've seen this enough, even on television shows, where somebody puts the telephone, <gasps> their cell phone, yeah. and they read somebody else's text messages and answer for them. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a no-no, but um, the, the, the trick is that Two things. Ignorance of the law is not mm -hmm. an excuse, and the fact that uh, favorite line from the Dirty Dozen, which is uh, Lee Marvin to Charles Bronson, I know that what you did was right, but you got caught. Mm -hmm. and it's the trick, because you get caught. So, well, yeah. and, and like for me, part of it is, is like you know that a lot of times I do work in a bikini. So just because I do work in a bikini does not give people permission to send me those types of things. Yeah, our, our, you know, and it's hard to text you love, mm -hmm. love, 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 text messages, proposition, propositions. But here's part of it is a lot of the females in Hollywood, it's like they're used, they're used to people sending them, you know, they send them love letters, yeah. they send them this, and, but there's a point where it's not just they, went over they like way. you, but when they're starting to be more graphic and, yeah. Yeah, and that's when you've got to call a halt to it, which is what we did do. But the trick is, is that, what we're trying to point out, is that so there basically is little protection for adults. It's almost all for teenagers, where they're, they're outraged with teenagers. But what about the married woman who has somebody send her something and her husband finds it? Mm -hmm. And her husband picks it up and you know, what the, and then, it, it, you know, their husbands are not amused. And same thing for wives. Wives are not amused if they Or boyfriends or girlfriends. They're not amused. It's not something if they know, it's not something they ask for it. And uh, what a person does in a, in a motion picture, television, or, or public role is not necessarily what that person is in life. I know guys that are action heroes that are whips. I know whips, guys that play whips that basically have chest fulls of medals. Same mm -hmm. way with the woman. Because a woman may dress hot and sexy to do interviews does not mean that she's, want, you know, that she's, she's not just a conservative mutt. Uh, 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 well, their you. public persona is yeah. not always the real person. No, because we know a woman, we know a mother. I mean, I mean we're talking absolutely magnificent mother. And she used to do things, you know, you know movies that basically didn't wear a lot in. She's a, she, doesn't, she hasn't done that in decades. Mm -hmm. And she's got great children, she's very proud of her children, but, you know, she, what she was then, she is not now, and therefore there's no reason for somebody to bring something up in front of her children that existed in another world. Mm -hmm. But they do it though. They do it in order to cause a problem. Mm -hmm. 
Or they think that, you know, we saw you 30 years ago when you were 18 years old. Well, you know, sometimes and you were hot I think sexy. They're, they're trying to either bring something up because it's sensational. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't because, work. Oh, but it, sometimes there's something called social graces. They, but they don't know that anymore. So we're okay. just trying to bring up a thing. Because here's part of it is being on the receiving end on a female side, um, it's not fun. It's not fun. She, I can honestly tell you, she did not know how to handle it. I didn't know how to handle it. I was like um, speechless. Yeah, so I had to handle it for her. Yeah. But this is one of those things, I mean, you know, this is probably the most important thing to remember. Is it stays, my federal mandate, seven years in the phone company. And they know who said it. They know mm -hmm. where cell phone it came from. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't reported that cell phone stolen, they know it came from more than likely from you, and if it's a picture of you, you're in big trouble because they can cause you to drop your pants in a courtroom and demonstrate it wasn't you. Yeah, could you imagine that? Seven yeah. Seven years. Could you imagine having to do that in the courtroom? Well, whatever it is, sexting, it leads to a lot of, let's say, unnecessary, possible frustration, jail time, and a lot of aggravation. So either way it comes out. Oh, and probably suing for selling, sending them inappropriate material. And career damage. Yeah. Depending upon your career, it can ruin your career like it did Wiener. That's true. He couldn't really speak about that.